Hey, and welcome back to Beginner's Guide series with Graphic Design. So if you are aspirational about being a graphic designer, watch the full series and discover the exciting career of graphic design. From what is graphic design, design theory, education you need, equipment you need, skills needed to be a graphic designer, and the most important topic of portfolio creation and interview advice. Topics covered are for amateur to intermediate level of experience. So now that you've applied for a job, they are interested and you want to go for an interview. This can be excitement for few, but an extreme pressure and worry for almost many students out there and these interviews will be the biggest challenge you will ever face as a graphic designer. It's this one time you will be judged on how you say and present yourself. How you perform in this interview will determine if you get the job or not. So the intention to create this video is to help you prepare for a design interview in easy two steps. We will attempt to answer this question and share some of my experience to help you prepare for a graphic design interview. You can never be completely prepared for the interview as you never know what an interview is going to ask you. So you have to start with doing everything that can make you feel prepared, confident and relaxed. There are a lot of things you can do for this. So step one would be to plan and prepare your presentation. The graphic design interview is more like a presentation and you should be ready to present your work and yourself. So these are few tips to prepare for your presentation. Tip number one, practice your portfolio presentation. Some people are gifted and can speak very well about their work. Tip number one, practice your portfolio presentation. Some people are gifted and can speak very well about their work. But for most, this can be very hard, especially if you are like me and struggle to talk about your own work on the spot. I would recommend before the interview, decide what you're going to say and in what order and try to memorize it. You can present with a print portfolio on a laptop or tablet. Be sure to practice your delivery. It can also include parts of your portfolio like links you want to showcase, print examples, etc. Be sure to practice your presentation a few times, either to yourself or take help from your family or friends. They could ask you difficult questions and challenge you about your work. Be comfortable to present your work in front of a crowd. Think fast and deliver answers to questions. By doing this, you will be more confident and you will be better prepared to deliver a smooth presentation or answer any questions. Tip number two, be prepared to talk only about one or two of your best projects. See, sometimes interviewers will ask you to only talk about one of your projects. This could be due to time constraint for the interview or a test to see how prepared you are. So you have to be ready to talk about one of your best projects, showing your skills and experience. Tip number three is curate or edit your portfolio. So before the interview, find out what this design job is requiring out of me. One of the easiest way to do that is edit your portfolio to the role you're going for. Too much variety in your portfolio will confuse a potential employer. Editing your portfolio makes you seem more suitable and specialized for a job. For example, if the role is for a logo designer, include your best logo designing example. If the role is for a motion graphic designer, include your best motion graphic examples. However, if the role is for an all-rounder, you may want to show a variety of work. Always edit your portfolio based on the role and the employer you're going for a job. Moving on to tip number four, portfolio readiness to display. Carry all your hand-drawn layouts, logos, etc. to show that you can draw and create the same on device. If you're planning to show your portfolio on a laptop, make sure your devices are charged and portfolio is properly loaded. You should be ready to pull out your device and present your work in seconds. So as you go through your portfolio, 
and talk about your projects be ready to show any example that will go with it if you're planning to talk about your print projects be sure to have examples ready to pull out and show if you have digital works like website videos or apps be ready to have them open and ready to show on your devices so moving on to the last tip is to stand out have something to leave behind after the interview this could be something like a little creative be sure it is very well thought out memorable and unique people love surprises unwrapping and being presented with something hands on uh, by leaving something behind you will stand out showing that you are willing to go the extra mile if it's good quality chances are that the person receiving it will not want to throw it away and you will remain in their presence we seen again so by being creative and making something a little more unique you can make a lasting impression so that's a few thing that you can do to help prepare yourself for your presentation moving on to next step which is prepare for your questionnaire now one of the most important thing i would recommend you to do is prepare for the questions well this can be the most dreaded part of the interview you can be very well prepared for the presentation but you never know what the interviewer is going to ask you as the next question but just imagine you are challenged on the spot and you have a good answer that leaves a great impression this will show that you have done your research and have a genuine interest in the agency which will help you get the job so these are my tips to help you prepare for the questionnaire which is the step 2 so tip number 1 is to do a thorough research about the company before the interview read about the company you are applying for research about them on the internet visit about us page on their website see who is working for them their clients as these may be your discussion points or the questions asked during the interview or they may ask a question to you to test your knowledge about the agency or the company you are applying for if you could mention few names or reference of some of the points this will show that you are proactive and have taken time to research and have interest in their agency or the company you are applying for tip number 2 would be to research about their work have at least 3 projects to talk about or why you like the kind of work they do and how that inspires you to work for them this will show you have a genuine interest and a passion to work for the company tip number 3 what kind of projects you would like to work on this is where an interviewer will want to know little bit about your ideal projects your passions and your ambitions what would the creative work be what would you want to produce who would it be for and why moving on to tip number 4 what do you want to achieve at the company during an interview you may be asked what you would like to achieve at the company the interviewer will be interested to know what your intentions are and uh, how ambitious are you to join the company be ready to talk about what you want to achieve at the company this could be what you want to learn gain responsibilities experience you want to get and the type of work you want to create and possibilities of promotion so the last tip is to have a set of questions for the employer yes at the end of the interview you will be asked if you have any questions for them so this is another opportunity to show that you are active and have a genuine interest in their agency you can ask questions about the agency role you are applying for growth opportunities with the agency try and ask positive and well thought out questions which will count a lot in your interview and help you get the job so to best prepare for the graphic design interview i would recommend you to follow two stages stage 1 prepare for your presentation stage 2 prepare for your questions so what do you think do you agree with the points or 
I have missed anything, be sure to share your comments below. Well, I hope you have liked this video. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, hit subscribe button. You can also follow us on Instagram at kaizenmultimedia.institute. In the next video, we are going to talk about design industry and what it is like to be a graphic designer and career options within the industry. Thank you so much.